Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the new exciting Life Sync functionality in the Creature Animation tool. The Life Sync functionality was recently added for Unreal Engine, and I'm proud to say it's also now available for the Unity game engine. And what Life Sync allows you to do is to essentially make changes in the Creature Animation tool itself, and then click one button, and then sync up the animation changes directly into the game engine, in this case Unity, and see those changes reflect immediately. So you don't have to re-export any assets or drag those files in, it just works. And that's the philosophy behind LifeSync. Now, before I continue, I would like to point you guys to grab the Creature for Unity runtimes, grab the latest runtimes, if you want to use LifeSync. Now this, this feature is available for Creature Pro for Windows, okay? So it is specific to the Windows platform. All right, so let's dive in. Now, it's, once you have installed the latest Creature Unity runtimes, to use LiveSync is extremely simple. What you do is first, you click on the Creature Asset, the Creature Animation Asset in Unity, and you will see, right now, you will see a new button called LiveSync. It's under the LiveSync uh, Options label. Right? So let's just try a couple of things. Now, if I play this animation right now in Unity, you'll see that it's just playing the idle animation, idle animation of the fox, and nothing is, you know, nothing, nothing exciting is going on, but essentially it's playing the idle animation of the fox, right? Okay, so let me stop this, and what we do now is we go back to Creature, okay, and this is our same fox animation. If I play it, you will see it plays the idle animation. And I'm going to change the pose of this animation right now. So let's change the, say, end angle to 80 degrees. And let's play it. Okay, so this is the effect we're, we're getting right now. And if I were to go back into, into Unity, let's go back into Unity. And all I need to do is move my mouse, oh, move my mouse over to Life Sync, click Life Sync, and it says Life Syncing with Game Engine. Right, and if we play it again, we should see, there you go. See how I pause it. The tail is now in a new position, right? Okay, so that's it. That's really all it is. <laughs> it's extremely simple. It just works. That's the philosophy behind Life Sync. You can literally go in, make changes. Let's make another change. Let's change it back to the original post, and then go back to Unity and go to the, the creature asset, animation asset, click on Life Sync. And if we play the game, okay, let's try it again, and you will see it's all reverted back to its original pose, right? Brilliant. Okay, that's really all Life Sync. Uh, that's really all what Life Sync is. I hope you enjoy using this powerful functionality because it should really ease your workflow in getting animation assets and changing them and reiterating on them between Creature and Unity. Right? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.